The village of Nuchik is located on the western shores of Hinchinbrook Island in Prince William Sound. This 777-acre island was conveyed to the Chugach Alaska Corporation under the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act in 1984. Nuchek was one of the eight traditional historic villages in the Sound whose traditional territory covered most of Hinchinbrook Island. Archaeological excavations indicate that the Chugach people, the Sukpiuk, which refers to the real people, have occupied the coastal waters of South Central Alaska for over 4,000 years. In 1778, the English captain, James Cook, landed near the entrance to Prince William Sound to fill his water barrels. He was the first European to trade directly with the Chugach near Nuchek Island. The Russian culture has also played an important role in the Chugach history. In the late 1790s, the Russians arrived at Nuchek and built a settlement called Fort St. Constantine and Helen. At this trading post, many tribes would travel great distances to trade furs for tea, tobacco, and beads. This fortress was surrounded by a high wooden spiked wall with two eight-sided block houses armed with cannons. Outside the fort walls was the very first Russian Orthodox Church built in the Sound, which was called the Church of the Transfiguration. This church was rebuilt on the original foundation ruins and was consecrated in 2002. Nuchek is the name of the Sound created by the island Kataglik, or Hinchinbrook Island. The nearby village was called Kahatlik, and in 1850 had 111 inhabitants. The New Czech Spirit Camp has been in operation since 1995 as a place that is dedicated to the preservation and promotion of the native cultures within the Chugach region. The goal of New Czech Spirit Camp is to bring all of our communities within our region together, to let them learn from one another, to share their knowledge of our culture, to learn about the land, to learn about subsistence, and to embrace ourselves as a Native community united. To get the kids involved in the heritage and what we do and why we do it. My fondest memory of being out at camp is getting on the skiff, going around the Prince William Sound, and you come around this one bluff and there's these puffins that as soon as they hear the engine of the skiff dive down, and there's whales, tails flipping and splashing, and it was just a serene moment that has etched itself in my brain. It's important for our shareholders and our descendants to know the value of the land. There's a monetary value, but there's also a political value and a historical spiritual value to our people and our connection to the land, how we have lived off the land and survived for thousands of years. And so the message is to connect to that resource through the corporation protect it, preserve it, and pass it on to the next generation, taking the value that we can, but also being respectful for what it means to us as Alaska Native people. Where you won't forget who you are, what you are, what your ancestor did, and hopefully that you will continue with it here. I think the majority of the teachers here were kids that came here to camp. And hopefully my kids will become teachers after a while. And you pick up from each other and you build those lifelong relationships and you stay in touch with them and you share more cultural experiences. 
And I'll tell you that for most employees, when they see the CD on the new Jack Spirit Camp, when they see the young kids learning about the heritage and traditions of Chugach, when they see them building a, a Badarka from scratch, that is the great reward. They say, that is what I'm working for. It's not for profits of others. It's so this community can grow. And that's what makes this a real reward for our employees. If we can help them appreciate of their culture, the value of their land, and way in the future, and that these are the people who are going to be help protect it. What I'm finding is people are starving for knowledge. If you can give them the chance to learn about it, they'll they'll soak it up like a sponge.